Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Get this. Everyone wants to claim that they are the truth tellers. Everyone tends to see themselves as the truth tellers and everyone else around them as more or less deceitful. A lot of people carry this idea that other people are being less than truthful and that they themselves are being truthful. So what is the truth in this? How truthful are you really? How honest are you? This video might help you find out. So what I believe is society can foster lying. Society and the world around us can invite and encourage us to lie or to deceit, uh, to cheat other people. And uh, a lot of the time we are not born truth tellers, we are not born liars. We lie because we are encouraged to or rewarded for lying by other people. So get this normal situation. You, another person asks you, what do you think about this dress? You tell them, no, I don't like that dress. And they get upset. That's a basic conundrum, you know. Uh, other people might feel that you're being rude or hurtful by saying something like this. You're criticizing them for who they are. And uh, in this, I think we learn, a lot of us learn, oh... Ah, it's a nice dress. It's a great dress. And uh, that's true for a lot of things in society. When you're talking to your boss or to superiors, of course you're inclined to try to smoosh this around and you're inclined to half lie or to say, yeah, it's okay, it's not that bad. You're inclined to, in some ways, uh, change the truth around. And uh, what I've come to find is no personality type is more inclined towards lying. But I want to talk about four natural aptitudes and I want to talk about the kind types, the modest types, the ambitious types and the clever types. So these four are cool to talk about. I think we all tend to associate the clever types with being the most honest because they can say whatever they think is smart, you know, in any situation. And I think we tend to associate smart with correct, with truthful. When somebody says something that is smart or sounds smart, it also makes it sound very truthful. If you can make something sound very truthful, then you can also make it sound very honest. If you can say something because you think uh, it is going to be well received by the other person, you can also get them to think that you are being more honest with them. Yeah, this person seems very honest because they always agree with me. <laughs> That's a common kind of misconception we tend to assume because they agree with us that they are telling the truth where if they are not agreeing with us it might be because they're not telling the truth and here's uh, back to the dress example again the person asks you what do you think about this dress they have a certain opinion already about this dress they assume that you don't like this dress so you say you don't like it you agree with their opinion you're being honest however if you like this dress for whatever the reason and you say you like it and they don't like it they think you're just saying it to make them nice you're, they're testing you you know a lot of people do that they test you to see if you're going to be truthful with them if you are going to agree with them so looking at this the tactical smart the clever type they know how to say things they know how to talk and they know how to phrase things they know how to put things they know how to do things they've thought things too they're smart about how they express it and that can get them to be associated with being honest but they are not the only types that are associated with being honest there are also the modest types you know the modest types they don't think they're smarter than anyone else they don't assume they know better than anyone else they don't think that they have the right answer they're just saying their personal five cents you know some people think this is super authentic some people say wow this is so refreshing they're just being themselves they're just true to who they are they just dress the way they want to they just do what they like other people think it's deceitful why do they think it's deceitful they think it's deceitful because it is uh, less than what everyone else does. How could they possibly want to dress like that? How could they possibly want to listen to that kind of music? How could they possibly like to eat that kind of food? It must be that they are just trying because they're pretentious, because they're trying to uh, seem more special than everyone else. Some people think it's inauthentic to dress the way you like to dress if it is less than what society thinks is right or what everyone else thinks is correct or the good way to do things. So 
moving forward, there is the kind type. And I think the kind type is less least associated with honest. I think we assume truth is hurtful. We assume truth hurts. And it does sometimes, but not always. And you know, sometimes there is the case of being a person that will say the truth because it's the nice thing to do. And sometimes there is the case of people that won't say the truth if it doesn't benefit them, even if it is nice, even if it would be nice to say it, they won't tell you. They won't tell you you look good today. They don't. They won't tell you you did a good job because they don't want you to think that you did a good job. They don't want you to know that they think you did a good job. They don't want you to feel that sense of gratification about what you did. And there's also kind of honesty. Can you be honest even when it's not to your personal advantage? Can you be honest because it's kind? So if you have the aptitude of being a kind person that wants to help other people, wants to make other people feel good, wants to let other people know when they're doing something nice, what you might notice is a lot of people will think this is kind of suspicious. Why is he complimenting me on that t-shirt? Why did he tell me I did a good job? Why did he think this? Does he really think this? Or did he just say it to trick me to think it's a good thing? And here, once again, we have that. Is it really truthful? Is it really honest? And uh, this association, if somebody is nice, they can't be honest. If somebody is nice to me, I'm not worthy of being nice to. So they must be lying to make me feel good. And that doesn't feel good. If they're lying to me, that's not nice. I would rather surround myself by people that told me how... They saw me and agree with me that I don't look nice, I look bad, I'm not good, I'm not that nice, you know. I'd rather surround myself by douchebags that tell the truth than nice people that tell me things I don't believe in. And uh, finally, let's talk about the ambitious type. The ambitious type, uh, the thinking and judging type is uh, often very serious. You know, when they say things, they say things. They just say, yeah, that's good. Good job. That's a bad job. I didn't like that. That's a good job. That's a bad job. You shouldn't have done that. You should have done this. That's the serious temperament, you know, the serious uh, disposition of the thinking and judging type. They don't place any value judgment to what you did. It's just good or bad. It's either objectively they thought you did something nice or they think you did something that was bad. And there's no judgment to this. Whatever judgment you might think there is to this, you're reading it in yourself, you're filling it in, you're filling in the dots the, between the lines. They hate me, they don't like me, they're upset with me, they're happy with me. You know, We can make these associations, everyone makes these associations. It's just how we're trained to think, we worry about other people's opinions. But we can also think this is kind of honest. They're not wrapping things up, they're not trying to make things, uh, they're not trying to make a big speech about how good you did things. When you do something good, they will just tell you. They won't give you a gold star. They won't hype it up to the skies. They won't make you seem like you're an angel for doing it. They'll just say it was good. You know, that's the thing. Like, uh, imagine there's a piano scale of emotion. And then you imagine some people like to hang out around the midline of this scale. They like to either not be too much and not be too little. And then you have people that like to be on the very, very lowest notes sometimes, and sometimes on the very, very highest notes. You have these people, they're either on the very lowest or the very highest. They can fluctuate a lot. And then you have the people that like to just dance around the midline here. And uh, what I found is uh, the thinking and judging types, they like to dance around this midline. And I think we tend to associate this midline with honesty, you know. It, when you're just saying things, when you're not uh, putting a lot of emotion in it, the more emotion you get into it, the more you start wondering if it is really correct. Are they just pretending? How can a person feel that much? Are they just pretending? Are they just exaggerating? Are they just making things up? That's a common assumption. How can a person feel that bad about something? How can a person be that happy about something? It's suspicious because it's not how I do it. It's not how I'm used to people doing it. And uh, what we, I'm realizing here is we have all missed the target completely in this whole video. We've been talking about just assumptions we make of other people. We make assumptions, we assume people feel and think a certain way. We have these ideas of what truth is and what truth isn't. And it tends to be very intimately connected to 
how we want truth to be and what we think truth is. Truth might be something different entirely. And what we might be asking for is not a personal judgment of if you think another person is telling the truth, but a judgment of is the other person, does the other person think they are telling the truth? Perhaps that's a better judgment. Perhaps honesty is better defined as what does the other person believe the truth to be? What does the other person think the truth is? Perhaps honesty has nothing to do with what you think the truth is, but what they think personally their truth is. And uh, knowing this, understanding this about honesty, you realize something very important. You know in these lie detector tests where they basically strap machines to measure your pulse and everything about you while you're saying something. They ask you a question, did you do this, yes or no? Then you say yes. Then there's a reaction, a spike in the pulse, something that suggests that you did not feel very good about saying this. And I think this is very important. Truth is something that should make you feel good. You know, okay, truth might hurt other people, but when you say truth, when you express your truth, it should make you feel good. Because it's like relief. You're carrying on a lie. You're holding on to something. You're hiding something. And now you said it, it's a relief. But when you lie, you're trying to put something on. You're trying to push yourself. You're trying to push something out. And then... That means there's a stress. Lies make us stressed. There is a term called cognitive dissonance, which refers to, you know, the stress we feel when we know something is contradicting something, when we know something is less than truthful, when we know something is bad. So these lie detectors, they notice this significant reaction. They notice that saying this doesn't make you feel good. Because perhaps, what if they found out? What if the lie detector notices? What if uh, this happens? What if that happens? You know, they start to feel less than good about this. And I think it has ultimately a very personal reason. It doesn't have to do with being found out or being discovered as a liar. People don't score on the lie detector test because they are afraid that other people will think it is a lie. This shouldn't cause a sudden reaction in it can cause a slow reaction, it can cause a gradual increase in pulse, but it should not cause a drastic reaction to what you just said. No, truth seems to be a lot more personal. It seems to have to do with what makes you feel good. And that's something, when I talk to people sometimes, I coach people, and I note this, they're saying something to me. They're telling me, oh, I'm a shitty person, I suck. I, I like to assume, imagine like there's a lie detector going on here right now. And that's causing, every time they say that, it's causing a spike. Because they don't feel good saying that, and they don't truly really believe that is true. I think a lot of us might say that in the heat of the moment. We say things we don't mean. It's not the truth. It makes us feel like shit after saying it. It doesn't feel good to put that on. But it's something we feel in the moment. You know, what we feel in the moment can contradict how we really feel. And that can be the simple truth. A lot of the time, truth has to do with something relieving rather than something stressing and what you want to do is every time you tell somebody something important about what you want for yourself every time you tell yourself something important do you want the job or not do you want to be together with that person do you want to go to that place do you want to do this or that what do you want what's your passion every time you talk about these things write them down think about it you want to think does the answer make me feel good does it make me relax? Does it make me feel relieved? Does it make me feel, in a way, positive? Or does the answer make me feel stressed out, freaked out, like nervous, like anxious? Does it make me feel like shit? That's often a sign that you're not being completely honest and you perhaps need to press a little deeper. And that's the thing. I don't believe truth ultimately hurts. I believe... Honesty is always healing, and I believe the most honest people are usually also the people that are the most healthy, the most relaxed, the most relieved. And uh, then when I look at the people around me that are pretty much always tense, always 
anxious, always in like combat mode, always distrustful, always assuming other people are deceiving them or tricking them. I tend to assume these people are not completely authentic. I tend to assume this because a lot of people say everyone else is deceitful, everyone else lies to motivate to themselves why they should lie, why they should be deceitful, why they can keep things from other people. So suddenly when I hear all these things, my lie detector goes up and it goes like, bing, uh, that's problematic. That's worthy of investigation. It's not always a telltale sign. It's not always 100%, but it is a sign that this is a person that has been taught by society and by the world around them that it is okay to lie. And I believe honesty is always the answer. I was always taught to be honest. I was always taught to be truthful. I was always taught that the truth was something positive. And I was always encouraged to be truthful, even if it would hurt other people. And gradually I learned to find truth that also could help other people. Some things to say, to tell other people, to make them come get over issues and struggles. Things to say that would make other people feel better. Things to say that would heal. And uh, perhaps that's what this channel is all about. Things that heal. Things that make people understand themselves. Things that make people understand truth. At least it's made me understand a lot about truth. At least it's made me a little bit more honest. But feel free to share your comments and thoughts down below. Thank you all for tuning in. Feel free to tell me which type you think is the most honest. Feel free to tell me how honest you feel about yourself. Are you being honest? What can you do to be more honest? What keeps you from being honest? Thank you all for tuning in and I hope to see you all in the next video.